Hi, I'm John, and today I'm gonna to be making an Australian classic, a delicious caramel slice. Now this recipe is super simple, but it is done in a couple of layers. So we're gonna start with the easy biscuit crumb, we're gonna bake it in the oven, move on to our sticky delicious caramel, and then top it with some chocolate. For the base, melt 125 grams of butter. Then in a bowl, mix one cup of flour, half a cup of desiccated coconut, and half a cup of brown sugar. Mix until you reach a wet sand consistency. Now once that mixture's come together, I'm just gonna spread it out over my lined baking tray. Now I just like to put a little bit of baking paper on the bottom, and then spread this gently over the top. It just means it comes out really, really nice and easily at the end. Now we're only looking for just a thin layer here, and I find the easiest way is to just gently press your spoon over the um, crumb base. You just wanna go for a nice even thickness. Now this is all nicely spread out, I'm gonna put it in the oven for about 10 to 12 minutes at 160 degrees Celsius. We don't want too much of a golden deep crust, we just want a bit of a light color and hardness to get ready for our next caramel layer. For the caramel, add 250 grams of butter to a pot, one cup of brown sugar and half a teaspoon of salt. Once the mixture is melted and mostly combined, add about a tablespoon of vanilla extract. Now pour in two tins of sweetened condensed milk or 790 grams. Mix continuously with a whisk over medium heat until everything is combined and slow bubbles appear. It takes a few minutes. So once our base has got a little bit of color just like this, we just wanna let it cool for a little while. Um, I'm gonna say about 15 minutes. We just want it to harden up a little bit before we pour our caramel over the top. I've also turned the oven down to about 140 degrees now, um, which will then put this back in with the caramel to start firming up and to get some more color in that caramel. Okay, so our base has cooled down just a little bit. It doesn't need to be cool cool, it just needs to harden up a little bit. I'm gonna pour over our delicious caramel. It's gonna go for a general pour, but it will spread out by itself pretty easily. Let's get that bit at the bottom as well. Okay, so this is nicely spread out. I'm gonna put this in the oven for about 15 minutes. We wanna get a little bit darker, we might get some deep bubbles, that is completely fine. And then I need to let this cool down for at least half an hour, and even at the end a little while in the fridge, because when we add our chocolate on top, we do not want it to melt into the caramel. So my oven's set to 140 degrees Celsius, and yeah, pop it in for 15 minutes. It's kind of tricky because it's so runny and you gotta make sure that it goes in and sits flat. All right, there we go. So our caramel in the base is just in the fridge cooling down. It's time to start moving on to melting the chocolate. Now I have 360 grams of milk chocolate here. You can use whatever chocolate you like. I recommend milk or dark. I guess you could use white, that'd be interesting. I am gonna be very lazy today. I'm just gonna melt it in a pot, but you can melt it in the microwave. You can melt it in a bowl as a double boiler over some boiling water. Um, yeah, I'm gonna melt the chocolate and then we'll pour it over our delicious caramel. Now, just a little secret, as our chocolate is melting, it is a good idea to add just a little drizzle of oil, a bit more, into the chocolate because that's gonna stop it cracking and splitting when it re-tempers and sits in the fridge. And it's just an easy kind of cheaty way and it just makes it look a lot cleaner in the end. Now we wanna make sure we only just melt this until it is all just a gooey, nice, chocolatey, melted-y paste. So here we go, we've got our delicious caramel and the base. It's still a bit warm, but it's cooled and it's set enough to put the chocolate on top. So all we're gonna do is literally just pour this chocolate over the top and again, it should balance out and just spread out pretty evenly. So we just wanna make sure that all of the caramel is covered so we get a nice clean chocolatey top. And don't press too hard because you don't wanna start disrupting that caramel layer. So as soon as that chocolate is spread, we wanna pop this straight in the fridge. I'd recommend at least two hours, maybe three, overnight if you want to, but just until this is set, and then we can cut this up and enjoy this delicious caramel slice. So here we go, it's all nice and set now, and I'm just so excited to start cutting this up and trying some. 
Now, because we've got the baking paper, it should be nice and easy. Sometimes you've just got to run a knife down the side just to disconnect that chocolate from the side of the tray. So once it's disconnected, we just want to gently lift it up. There we go. And pop it onto a tray to cut. All right, we're looking good. I'm just going to peel back that baking paper. The baking paper makes it so much easier to remove from the tray. And now we're going to cut it. So you can cut to whatever size you like. I'm going to go for nice small pieces because when they're small pieces, you can eat more of them. Oh, that turned into a bit of a gooey, but very tasty mess. Now, just a quick comment about the cracking. I just use normal milk chocolate, but you can use baking chocolate, which has a better, I guess, emulsifier, and it means it won't crack as much. For me, it doesn't matter too much. They added that bit of uh, that little bit of vegetable oil, which did help, but it still can be hard because it's gooey, and then, yeah, when you're cutting it, it can get tricky. It's gonna have a little taste. Just look at that delicious gooey caramel. Now, this is I promise, amazing. It is really easy to make. It is so tasty and it's easy to make these big batches. So these will keep in the fridge for easily a week, even two weeks. Um, there's no kind of cream or anything. There's the sweetened condensed milk, but that lasts for quite some time. But these are absolutely delicious. You have to make them.